Welcome back to the Steven Subtick Experience. I'm Steven Subtick, and this is my experience today. I'm gonna try to figure out what is wrong with me. I receive comments all the time that say, Steven, you might be a sociopath. There's something clearly wrong with you, and we think that you should receive help from a therapist or be put into a mental facility. Mental home. Mento, mentals. Mentos. So I figured I'd take some tests and try to figure out once and for all, what the heck's up with my brain? <laughs> We'll be starting off today with a quiz on Zimbio.com that says, can we guess your biggest flaw? Let's begin. If I were split up into groups for a grade school project, what is my responsibility? Throughout my entire education, if I was ever put into a group, look, I'm not gonna lie to you, I never talked. I wanted to, I wanted to contribute, but I was just too afraid to open my mouth. Unfortunately, the answer on there was also take notes. I didn't talk and I also wasn't helpful. Double whammy. It's Friday night, should we Netflix and chill or go out and party? You know what? Okay, this answer right here on the bottom clearly fits my personality. It's I'm cool with that, whatever what anyone else wants to do. If someone wants to go skinny dipping in Lake Michigan, then I'm there. If someone wants to go to a volcano in Tahiti, I'm there as long as I get my passport in time. If Danny Gefilte wants me to sing at his bar mitzvah, well, I'll give it a shot. If John Green says, hey, Right, uh, ghost write my next book, I'll be I'll be down. If Brendan Fraser's like, hey, I'm making a comeback. Wanna do coke with me at this Hollywood party? I'm down. Who is my favorite cartoon character from these people? Sometimes you just gotta go with the classic and that's Mikey. How often were you bullied in high school? High school, eh. To be honest, I don't think I was really bullied much in high school. Middle school was a different story. Once in a while, someone would say something like relatively mean, but I always resorted to, I think, self-deprecating humor, which is how I, which is how I got to where I am now. None of these answers really fit me, but I guess I'm gonna go with I don't really remember. So I decided to join a community theater and we're about to put on a show, what is my role? Well, I'm a terrible director. I don't know how to command people's respect. I don't have enough confidence to be a supporting actor or actress, let alone a lead actor. Stagehand, no thanks. Playwriter, that seems like me. Would you ever spend over $1,000 on a designer bag or briefcase? There are many scenarios where I would spend $1,000 on something that I shouldn't spend $1,000 on. So I'm just gonna say yes. If there was one thing that I dislike the most about Kim Kardashian, what would it be? I guess that she's famous for nothing? I don't know, I don't really... Consider it that much. You are being gifted a $500 gift card, but you can only spend it at one store below. Which one am I headed to? I actually really need a GoPro, so Best Buy. Fuck, what did I just do? Pick a Disney princess. I always thought the Little Mermaid was pretty tight. I mean, like, I mean, like the movie itself. I mean, like, it's cool. The concept of the Little Mermaid and all the characters in it are cool. That's what I meant. That is what I meant. I meant that it's cool. I meant that it is cool. How many close friends do I have? My, I'd say I have about, Five, three to five really close friends. Yeah, then I can count on. And the final question is, what's the first thing you think about when you look in a mirror? Well, to be honest, my eyes are pretty far apart and I have a little bit of acne going on because I've been eating so unhealthy lately and I also haven't been working out, so I'm feeling a little bit pudgier, so I'm gonna say disgusting. Your biggest flaw is you're too judgmental. Known for having extremely high standards, judging anyone and anything that falls short when it comes to your intelligence, creativity, and superb taste. Try to remember that nobody's perfect, including you, and you may learn a thing or two from someone you have once dismissed. You know, I've been told this before from some of my best friends, but it just, it means so much more coming from an online quiz. I would have never guessed that my biggest flaw was that I'm too judgmental. I brought my friend Tyson in to decide once and for all if I'm too judgmental. You're gonna wanna go, you know, your head's gonna wanna be right I'm there. put it right there? Wow. You wanna take off your glasses? What do I do? Do you think I'm too judgmental? Well, you, you told me that I look like crap today and you told me to take my glasses off because you said I look fat. Uh, I need to get someone else instead. I gotta go to Weight Watchers again and they don't even work! 